What up, roomies? It's your boy the other day, and we are back with another reaction. Of course, I got that guy with me. Uh, Mike on the mic. Let's watch some anime. And you are disgusting, sir. Uh, uh, they, they, better out than in. Better out than in. True, but the roomies need a little bit more respect than that, bro. Sorry. Uh, the second one, I'm going to say excuse me. The first one, I don't apologize for. This guy. And we're checking out um, The Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic, episode 7. And, you know, my dude Yusato is running around being all about training, and let's see if he's going to go into the real world yet. Uh, it, 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 the the, the uh, little emotional cliffhanger uh, leads us to believe that combat is coming soon and he's starting to recognize that he's going to be facing some uh, intense situations in the coming episodes. So uh, it, it, we're not excited to see like life and death combat, but it, the anticipation is building. And also the possibility of Rose going back to being a combat medic <coughs> is very possible. She, we've we've seen we've seen a little skirmish between Rose and the vanguard of the Demon King's army. Yeah, and I told you she was brolic. She's shit. she's no, she's definitely she's definitely got some uh some some fisticuffs. All right, so let's without further ado, Rumi's, let's check it out and see what my do you is up to. Yeah, this is the this is the exact moment at the last episode where yeah. Yeah, he had that little vision that the little uh, beast yeah. girl showed him. So I guess um, the big bad for this season is going to be the Black Knight or the Dark Knight. Yeah, Fox Beastkin. That's the one. She showed him a vision yeah. of like some real nasty sh stuff. That's about to happen. Where the Dark Knight kills uh, a whole bunch of people. Including his homies. Yeah, rose to the rescue. So she literally just came back from throwing trees at the Demon Lord's army. Yeah, he was. she was out there basically calling them a bitch. Yeah. Yo, she's ODing on him. Why do they always start off at like 12, 10? Because that's when you start to, like, even as a kid, that's when you start to see the, like... The real at, world? The, the, how the real world functions. When you're a child, they're still, like, in that child world, you know? In that fog? Well, you've got the naive, naivete Na around you. Yeah, I got it. All right, so she's an or the, the child's an oracle of time. Or showing the signs of being one. Yeah, because he definitely got a vision of the future. He definitely did. Mm -hmm. So th there's probably also Beastkin territory. Whether or not they've been conquered by the demons or they live with the demons is another thing we got to figure out. And they're not cat uh, categorized as a demon race. So. No, it's separate. They're not. They're not a one with the demons. So I guess they're more to leaning, hum more human leaning, leaning. Yeah. yeah, but they probably get They probably get some level of discrimination. Well, since she's the only one we've seen, we got we could assume they could be rare. At least in, with the humans. Yeah. All right, they're going into war. He knew this was going to happen. Why didn't he, like, form some conscription a while ago? You would think that he would be a little more prepared. He did summon the heroes. He No, all right, he did. And he, he acknowledged that was a desperation act. But hopefully it all pays off, though. Yeah. I mean, he's probably in a tough situation being invaded. Oh, oh, oh. My dude's a lowly con. I seen the blush. I seen the blush. They're they're two years apart. It doesn't matter. She well, looks three like three years. She looks like a child. Nah. Come on, bro. She's what? Fourteen? Like twelve? No, she's like thirteen or fourteen. Thirteen at the youngest, probably closer to fourteen. Probably. And, he, and he's sixteen. He's a second year, so he's sixteen. <laughs> bro, he's not even like eight, seventeen years old. He's not even legally age of consent in New no, York. He's he's a child too. He's a child. He's a hero. He's a he is 16 years old. Years He's a minor. You're you're you're, you're, you're legally underage. You are, not a child. you are not an adult. You're not a child. You know right from wrong. You you're can't vote. You're 13 years old. You can't own property. Child. 12 years old, you're a child. But is, no, is she is she 13 or 14? We it's, don't even know. But she looked like a child. And he looked like a grown man. Bro, when I was 17, I dated a 15-year-old. Is that pedophilia? No. No. No, it's just not. But the difference in but yeah, the thing you, about you it. Said what you just said you hear what you just said. When I was fifteen, I dated a fourteen year old. When I was sixteen, I dated a fifteen year old. It's a two year difference. That's not pedophilia. A ten year difference, that's close. Depending on like if you're like thirty and twenty or forty and thirty, that's not pedophilia because you're both adults. But it just looks weird. It looks a little weird. It looks weird. Well, look, for the thirty and twenty, it looks weird. But the thing for about, the forty and thirty, no, it's not weird. But for the thing about anime is that you be thirteen looking like you're one. And then the minute you turn 14, you look like you're 30. Yeah, that's that's the problem with anime. That's one of the many, many weird... Because you'll be 13,000 years old and you look 13 years old. That's a little weird. Yeah. 
And then you're 12 looking like a grown ass man. And then you'll be 12 or five years old and you look like you're fucking 40. Remember that shit from Spy Family? Yeah. There's a fucking six year old that looks like a fucking 40 year old. That's hilarious, first of all. Yo, watch Spy Family. Watch Spy Family. Because there's dead ass, like a first grade or a kindergartner. And he's like a, a grown ass man. He's like a, literally a grown ass man and he's in kindergarten. Or oh, my man's right here is, is not trying to go to war. Yeah, of course he's scared. He was in high school a week ago. Yeah, that is true. Like three months ago, he was. So- or yeah, a couple months ago. But like, this is literally child soldiers. Like, like this is not a grown ass man. This is a teenage boy. He no, technically he didn't he sign did, up. He, he didn't sign up. Both of them were drafted into another world when they yeah, were just in high school two months ago. Now they're child ass. soldiers. This is that what ass. child soldiers means. They're both 16 year old boys, no, and now they're fighting demons. And it's just like, wait, what? This is. They didn't have to, but it's just like you have magic powers, and our our nation is about to be destroyed. Would you please use your? Would you? I'm out. And it's like, hey. Like, who knows what the fuck is happening to my people? So I can come say, it's Japan. Cool. Nobody's like, who's gonna feed my dog? Nobody's invading Japan right now. This magical world is about to be. Like, wait, what is it? Limbo. Uh, L- L- Lim- Limbio, like whatever the fucking country is, like whatever this kingdom is called. They're about to be dest- overrun and destroyed by demons. Hey, teenage boy, we just summoned from Japan. Would you like to save us? Well, shit, like, your 14-year-old daughter is really eye-fucking me right now. I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what's happening to him. <coughs> that's not pedophilia. That's a teenage boy making teenage boy decisions. And now he's just like, oh, shit, I'm about to get killed in a war. Yeah, but nah, but he got my dude Usado. You sound like a pedophile, Mike. No, that's not pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> that's teenagers <laughs> being teenagers. <laughs> That's teenagers <laughs> being teenagers. That's not pedophilia. That's not what that is. That's teenagers being teenagers. All I know is that. Like, you... I was 16. I didn't look at 13 year olds, bro. I, I can that, bro. Did you look at fucking 14 year olds? No, bro. 15 year olds. When I was 16, I was already in high school, nigga. And 14 year olds were also I, in high school. I wasn't looking at anything that wasn't in high school, Mike. You, were you looking at freshmen when you were a junior? No. Yeah, well, some of them had titties. And I was just like, well, shit. She's, little, little naive she, thing. She had some buttons that were undone. I'm just like, damn. Shit. Like, that's a freshman, but th- them some titties. Them some titties. Um, but yo, my, bo- uh, my boy right here. Like, Kazuki's like, he's a, he's a fucking 16-year-old. It's like, damn, I'm being a dick. I, I thought this was just a fantasy. I'm about to go into a war. He really is about to go into a war. And the funny shit about it is, like, he has to, like, get all this prep talk from the nigga who didn't even sign up to be here. Like, this motherfucker Usado took, took did, you know, had the most positive attitude out of a very shitty situation. Both of them are not not fully ready to be in this. This is PTSD no, but, Central. But Usado, Usado had, the, had the leeway out. That's the one thing about it. You saw don't have the leeway out though. King was like, bro, you could go chill somewhere and relax. Yeah, take the princess and get out, bro. You could like go chill and be all right. Cool. Nah, this man right here got trained by the hardest motherfucker in his army. Yep. And now he's like on steroids and he's just fist bumping this dude like, yeah, don't die because if you do, I'm out to go save you. Yep. And for some reason, Yusado, I feel like is going to have to learn combat. Pretty fucking soon. Yep. He's gonna have to start punching as hard as Rose is. Yep. I think Rose is gonna start teaching him how to fight now. Oh, okay, it was her, not not Rose. And this bitch is just happy, like, yeah, I'm about to go blast people with some magic. I assume she's stronger than what we saw in that oh, fight I'm, scene in the forest. I'm definitely Because she was holding back pretty much the whole time. You should tell her to go to sleep with you, bro. You know he's not gonna be that aggressive. I know. You, There's maybe no should, way he's gonna be that aggressive. You should, you should just stay with me tonight. A word? You're not gonna shout out my dude Usado, bro? Nope. That's from fuck shit right there, bro. Alright, we're talking about the rescue team. Yo, they still got Usado with the weighted vest. Uh, that might have just been a flashback to what the rescue team was training with. Because there's no way he's still wearing that. My man, he's Brolico. He's the right hand. And plus, you know he got protagonist plot armor? No. Huh? He got protagonist plot armor, bro. That too. 
maybe he wasn't right for summoning them, but like the king's in a shit situation, and he seems to like the, the troops really like him. So like, like when sure. you're on the border with the demons, that that's a shit situation. All right, he's starting to look the part now. I mean, he's wearing the armor. It's not like he can heal himself. All right, my man's Kazuki's starting to look the part. He got the nice sword, and he's rocking a scarf. I like it. I like it. I like the fashion sense. I mean. He's got to rely on Usado to heal him. So, like, any hit he takes is going to distract Usado from healing everybody else. So he's got to actually wear armor. Usado can just run out there in a fucking wife beater and some shorts. Because any hit he takes, he's just going to be healing himself. That is true. This motherfucker can't regenerate. He's got to wear the armor. But that's the thing about it. Can't, uh, like I said before, can't they learn other magic affiliation, uh, aff it, uh, affiliations? It would appear that they cannot. He can only use light magic. Uh, Susan can only use uh, electric, electric magic. And but, Usado can only use healing magic. Yeah, is it that they know this for a fact, or they haven't tried? It, that it would appear that is the uh, uh, that's the hypothesis. The magic tier system of this world that you can only use the magic system that you are affiliated with. <laughs> Blurlin is like, nah, don't touch me. Oh man, exactly. This is the combat. Nah, not in her room. She would have taken that shit outside. Well, no, she's gonna start telling him that he's got a start learning something or some bullshit oh she's gonna give him a sword is a uniform just like hers she's holding him in her ever loving embrace as a comrade and as her apprentice oh take that using your own words against you so what you thought about that one mike i thought that was really good um they're still building up the anticipation with like all the preparations for the battle so i'm a tiny bit like disappointed but i understand what they're doing they're just there better be a fucking awesome battle scene uh it, like because it's a battle medic show it's a battle medic anime yeah so like this anticipation fucking baby yeah i'm a baby i'm a big old puppy what's up king yeah um uh, but like I was a little um, relieved they had, like, a moment to humanize uh, Kazuki a little bit because, like, he like, had, like, no time to just really decompress about the whole, like, we've been summoned into another world and now we're going into a, a, a whole war situation. And he hasn't had much screen time to me either. Yeah, no, no. He's just been, like... Hanging out with the princess and the two and uh, Susan and Usato have just been like you know hanging out and flirting and shit. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> so far what I liked about this one was that it kind of like humanized Rose a little bit more. That too. Like it brought out, even though she doesn't have a soft side, but her less harder side, I guess. No, no, she she does have a soft side, and I think that's why she's so fucking like tough about everything with the tough with the training tough with the words because like she's seen her like team members die true so and she doesn't want the same for Usado one because he's a prodigy apparently yeah yeah and then two he he wasn't really there by choice and he's making the like I was saying earlier he's making the best out of a shit situation also yes you feel me because he had the option of not doing shit he legit, the king was like, okay, your shit is green. Let's get you the fuck away from here. <laughs> and yeah. he was, instead of saying, yeah, let's run the fuck no, that, away. That definitely happened. He just ballsed up and said, all and right, cool. Rose grabbed him like literally 10 seconds later. Yeah. You feel me? He ballsed up and said, fuck it. And then he hasn't backed down from her. Nah, so, she, she so walked she, in. No, but so, he didn't. He, it, it wasn't that he chose not to leave. No. Because she wasn't going to take him. And then he was like, but nobody told me what, what the cut of green means. She, no, she gave him, she gave him the choice. Like she explained the choice right when like she walked in, saw green and grabbed him and ran off. She grabbed him. It was just like, no, she didn't see the green. Yeah. Cause he mentioned the green. He mentioned the green. She was walking out already. And he was like, yo, but nobody tells me what happened. What, what, what green no means. Still told me, told me what green and then, means. yeah, no, as soon as, no, but, but, but as soon as she found out, she took him. Yeah. But at the end of the day, she <laughs> still had that. I believe in like episode two, like three or four, they still had that one on one when she was like, "You sure you want to continue?" And he was like, "Yeah." Yeah, yeah. After you after, know, you know what I mean. So he had the option of not, you know, going into it. She literally, that. she literally gave him several different outs. So she's she's given him outs pretty much the entire time, and he's just like, "Nah, fuck it, let's keep going." Yeah, and, and then on top of that, he has something to prove. Like every episode, he's like, 
you know, not more or less fuck Rose, but he's like fucking ogre, fucking yeah. battle-hearted mage, you know, always throwing shade at her and like calling her by, out by like the way she is or, and her tyrannical rule and shit. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all love, baby. Yeah, no, he, he he's definitely had multiple opportunities to jump off this path. And then once like he really internalized the idea of like Susan and Kazuki going into battle and dying and him not doing anything about it once he kind of like really got that whole concept of like I can help my friends I can protect my friends I can save my friends lives then he was all in from that point forward he was just like nah fuck that I'm doing yeah. something yeah I feel that I feel that so yeah with that being said roomies We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, watch this show. Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic is really a good show. Watch it. Like right. and subscribe because we told you to watch this great anime. Yep, and we're trying to sell out so we can make better content. Sell for you out! So you already know. Peace out.